Hi there, I'm Izzy from Tech, the Global Tire and Wheel Authority, and today we are going to discuss tire nomenclature. Have you ever wondered what all the markings are on the tire? Most of those are pretty important numbers. Some are the tire dimensions, some refer to speed ratings, and others are load ratings along with manufacture dates. For example, here we have a 225-45R18. The 225 is for the section width in millimeters. This is the widest part of the tire sidewall to sidewall. The 45 is the aspect ratio, the percentage of the width equal to the height. This means the tire's height is 45% of the width, which is 225 millimeters. The R is for radial, identifying its construction. And finally, we have the 18, which is the rim diameter in inches. For truck tires, a common size is an 11R 22.5. In this example, the tire is 11 inches in width. R is for radial. 22.5 is the rim diameter. When the percent is not listed, we default to a 90% aspect ratio. On this tire, after the sizing is 110H. The 110 is a code for the load index or the maximum load it can carry, which is 2,337 pounds. The H is for the speed rating. This tire should not sustain 130 miles per hour. If the load or speed are higher, the tire can experience premature tire failure due to heat fatigue and or flexing of the tire. The final numbers we need to take into consideration are the Department of Transportation DOT codes. Every tire used in a highway application is required to have a DOT code stamped on it. The code always follows DOT. The first two sets of the code identify the manufacturer and the location where the tire was made. The final two sets of the code identify the manufacturer date. Here we have 2018. This code is a two-digit week and two-digit year. So this tire was made in the 20th week of 2018. When we install tires on passenger vehicles, always reference the information on the tire and loading placard found on the driver's side door jam. It will tell you the recommended tire size and inflation pressure for the vehicle. If the tire is an LT or larger tire, you should refer to the Tire and Rim Association's load and index tables for recommended operation pressures. Failure to maintain proper inflation pressure can result in faster, irregular wear and may lead to higher fuel consumption for the vehicle. Thanks for taking Tech's Tire Nomenclature course. If you have any questions, contact your tech distributor or go to techtirerepairs.com. See you next time.